every time we start a YouTube video, we look at each other and smile and press know. record. Because we know what it is. Hi. 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 What up? What's up, y'all? We miss y'all. We y'all miss us, too. But we're back. Yes, we're back. Full effect. What next? Boss. Why are you? Why is everything bars? You watching too much Queen of the Ring? Um. So we haven't put up a video in like two, three months, and we've been getting a lot of follows on our Instagram and comments. Like, when's your next video? So here it is. We're sorry that we took so long. Um, we've been. It's a lot going on. What happened, baby? What's been happening? What's going on with us? Oh, um, too many events. Too many hours at work. Mm. Way too many hours at work. She changed her, She just changed her schedule, but she used to work, like, so many days and hours. I had a new job, and then, like, another new job, and now I'm starting another new job. <laughs> um, I start another new job tomorrow, so. But what happened to me, babe? Um... She had a car accident. No, I didn't have a car accident. What'd you have? What happened to you? What happened to me? You had a car accident. We call it a car accident? I mean, a car ran over your toes. A car hit me. <laughs> a car hit me. I don't think that was... A car hit me. We was walking across... Me and her was walking across the street. Dang. And um, we were walking across the street and the car was turning the corner. So we was walking like this. And the car was turning the corner like this. I was right above her because I usually walk a little faster than her. And it hit me. And then um, it knocked me to the ground. And um, the tire was on your leg. The tire pulled your leg out of your sneaker. The tire stopped on my toes, like on my whole foot. And I was crying and yelling and oh my god I got my car oh my god my foot my foot my foot my foot my foot it was so traumatic like I'm like I'm smiling about it now but when I say that it was yeah. a traumatic situation it was traumatic like I got hit by a car and my foot was under a tire like the worst pain ever and she took uh, my foot out the tire that's your muscle let me see it again And um, she took her foot. I must be strong to take your foot out because you are strong. It, it was like it was yeah, it was my foot was underneath the tire. She pulled my foot out the sneaker and um, carried me to the sidewalk and then police, and ambulance, and hospital, X-ray. I had to wear a boot and this cane and it was it was a big ordeal. This happened about like what? Two, Tomorrow it would two, be two, two weeks. weeks yeah. yeah, so. Made us look at life completely different, you know, because it was such a good day. Like we were, you know, it was like we were on our way to go food shopping, you know, like we were on our way to go food. Shopping. I had interviews later that day. It was just like a perfect day. It was a good day. We was just saying how good everything is, and you know, every as far as everything goes, like our house and our jobs and everything. And um, that happened. It was so weird. So it just made us really think about life. Yeah. Why you look so short of him? Almost because the way I'm saying. So that's it. Um, I received um, a DM on Instagram from one of our new subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, hi, new subscribers. Hi. We have a lot of new subscribers. So. Thanks for following. Hello. Oh, speaking of following, my Instagram is Heaven Bendel, H E A V E N B E N D E L. And mine is Born Africa. So we'll put it in the description after the video so y'all can see the right. Yes. And. Um, I'm wearing my jewelry, so yeah, that's all it's about. this is my jewelry line, my earrings, my necklace, and my ring. Um, it's on Instagram as Heaven Be Designs, so I'll put that in the description as well. Anyway, so on Instagram direct, we received um, I received the questions um, from one of our new subscribers, so we're gonna answer them. So, where do you see yourself about ten years um, as far as children? Children, I see two. I see a boy and a girl. Yeah, I see a boy and a girl too. Yeah. We have the name of our girl. We won't say, but we have the name. We want to have a daughter first, yeah. and um, a boy, sir. a boy second, and um, another girl. 
You just said two, babe. Don't switch up on me so quick. Don't switch up on me so quick. And two. All right, two. You and I have three? The sex is good. The sex is what? What? No worry. We figure out. Two, 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 two. What? Two. If the sex is two. You okay? I'm good. Feeling okay? <laughs> I came out of nowhere. What two? Are you thinking um, like what we just said? Yeah, two. We didn't do nine. <gasps> yeah, um, mm. career wise, I just want to mm-hmm. progress in my life. Wait, wait, I didn't answer my children. Uh, I, I didn't answer my children, sorry. Yes, two, boy and girl. And if you're wondering how we're going to do it, it's going to be by um the TTC method. What? The trying to conceive, so mm-hmm. it'll be um IVF, like um sperm put in me. Sperm fusing my egg, putting you. Right. So no like we'll know the guy. We want it to be like it's a gay guy we have in mind that we know very well. Um so yeah, that's the plan. That's how we want to have children. Just in case you wonder. Mm-hmm. Okay, five to ten years as far as career. Sure. Oh, and we want to have children. When do we want to have children? We want to have children after. Yeah, right. yeah. And we don't want to be in New York. We don't want to be in a city. No, we're tired. <laughs> yeah, we don't want our child to have to like deal with like nothing of the city. We want to be like backyard, front yard, Where's you know, you suburb. Know yeah, yeah, like we're not a city. We're thinking of Atlanta or like. Yeah, we're trying to. We're thinking Atlanta's about moving. Our first, our first option. Yeah, we really want to get a home in Atlanta and um. Yeah. We want to get out of New York. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. Okay. Careers, babe. Career wise, um, I just want to move up in this loss prevention job I'm doing. Um, I think I like it. I think I have the potential to move forward. And in the next five years, I'm thinking more of a, a GM. You know, you have to be supervised at ADM and GM. So in the next year, I'm thinking of a supervisor. I have a job. And Fit app waiting for me, waiting for the store to be open. So I think yeah. with that job, I'll move, I'll move on and I'll progress faster because there's more opportunities with that job. Opportunities. Yeah. Oh Sexy accent. Opportunities. How about you? Five years. Five years. Um, my career. You're so cute. Thank you. Okay, answer the question. My career in five years. I want to do one million things, right? True. Oh, right. She always coming up with ideas. But let me just tell you how. This is my plan. I'm 25. I'm going to be 26 in two months. In May. May 6th. I'm going to be 26. Can't believe I'm going to be 26. So my plan by 30 is to have my own something. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because I only, like, a number of people in my life know what it's going to be. But that's the plan. I want to have it. And, um, but I do want to, I want to be a wedding planner. I want to be getting real estate. I have my jewelry line, you know, I still model. So my career, I just know I want to be, I know I want to make a difference. I know I want to have an empire. Um, and I know I want it to involve fashion. Um, I just don't think I could be like, oh, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a nurse. You know, I want to do a million things. I want my name to be on a lot of things. I want to be in my office and be running a million businesses. So, um, I have four years to finalize a lot of things, so True. that's why I don't. I, I'm I'm stay doing I stay doing something. So that's my career goal is to be a mogul at at least forty. A mogul. Oh, a relationship. What's our five year, ten year plan relationship? Do we plan on getting married? Of course, we plan on getting married. I think five years we'll have a house, we'll have the kids running around, we'll have our future jobs. Um, we'll be traveling around the world, seeing different things, different places, trying different foods, seeing different cultures. And I think this is the same thing with our career. I think it's going to push us forward and it's going to make us stronger and get to know each other. Because I feel like every day I'm learning different things about for five years. I think we'll go, we'll be solid. Yeah. Solid, like, everything. Yeah, we've become um 
friends. Yeah, we become more friends. Either. Yeah, I think it was so much um, girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. But sometimes when you're in a relationship, you really need to become friends first. Mm-hmm. And I think we we met on a date and then became girlfriends. So it took we were getting to know each other while we were while we, we were so in a relationship. Crazy. It's not like we knew each other and then got in a relationship. We met was in a relationship and then had to learn each other through then. Mm-hmm. Um, and her moving in. And we living together now. Um, we're learning so much about each other. But now we are just really good friends. Like, we don't want to be without each other. We're going to be around each other. We talk. When she at work, we texting. Like, it's just like. <laughs> yeah. It's my nigga. Right. My nigga, my nigga. Yeah. Oh, and I want to say um, the new subscriber that gave us um, the questions. Her Instagram name is Ayana Hannah underscore. So it's I-Y-A-N-N-A-H-A-N-N-A underscore. So thank you. Um, the next question is for Rita. What is she spelled your name right? Two eight. <laughs> for Rita, what was your motivation to moving to the U.S.? What are some differences culturally? How do you like the U.S. since being here? And what three things do you miss most? Those are really good questions. Motivation. I think what motivated me to come to this country is I I could have I could do so much better here. That's in technology wise, transportation, culture, jobs. Um, a lot of stuff motivated me to come here because like back home, all I used to see in America was movies, music videos new technology that was being introduced in Africa. So it's like I wanted to see some of the stuff for myself. I came to college through basketball. They, the school wanted me because I played um, for my national team, my junior national team for my country. So I came straight to Rockland coming to college upstate, uh, suffering, and it was basketball that got me to school. So it was like, wow, if basketball could take me to a college, well, that means there's a lot more here that I could do. So... That really motivated me. Um, what do I? What three things do I miss the most? I miss the food. Number one, I'm tired of being American food all the time. She cooks the best, but I'm tired of it. Um, I've been saying I want to go to the African uh, uh, restaurant, restaurant for three for weeks now, three. and I haven't gone because she's always cooking. So, but it's all the way in the Bronx too. So like, she... Bronx is right there. You so... baby, you babe. <laughs> So I think the food, um, the culture, the music, one and three, my friends, the Azunta, forest, Azunta. waking up in the farms, it's just a lot that I miss back home. Three is just too small. I could, I could take a whole list. I miss my church. It's, it's, it's a lot. Um, oh, babe. Um, culture dif- differences here and, here and back home is, um, a lot of things here people do take granted and I think it's a discipline to how people discipline their kids how people talk to their parents the respect people give to the elderly how do you discipline your kids out there we whip them and how do we do it out here they call the cops when y'all whip them so they they forced to do it again because they could call the cops Africa you call the cops the cops will beat your kids a lot of kids out here don't call the cops though when they I but guess. their parents know sometimes they could take it to that level. So they do beat their kids. I'm not saying y'all don't discipline your kids, but it's what they have in mind when they want, you know? The yeah. kids the kids do know. So, I mean, I'm not saying every parent don't discipline their kids. I'm just saying back home um, in Africa, you have to say please before every sentence. You have to, you know, keep bending on your, you know, squatting a little bit just to show your respect. Um, you greet every morning. You see the first person. And back home, the younger ones do give respect to the elderly before the elderly gives back. That's how it is. But here, it's I think it's more of the other way around, or it could be vice versa. But in Africa, if you young, you have to show respect. You know, just like he was telling me, the grown up sits in the front of the car, the younger sits in the yeah. back. It's it's. But it's, my dad um raised my dad has um fifteen, fifteen or twelve children and um I lost count and he raises very traditional you know the all the boys are very like open the door 
you know, very much gentleman and, you know, all the girls are very spoiled and stuff like that. So he, he raised us that way. My father's side. Um, I know that other parenting is different, you know, but, um, yeah, my dad did that. Sometimes I eat with my finger. She'd be like, what are you doing? It's a fork. I can eat rice with my fingers. I can eat anything with my fingers, except for, for liquid foods. But How do you like the U.S. since being here? How do I like it so far? I, I like I like it so far. I like it so far. It's, I've, I think I've adjusted well. There's a lot of things I still need to know. But I think I adjusted quickly because of my English and because I went to international school. So most of like the fashion trends and music. I have over 15,000 songs on my computer. People be like, yo, you from Africa, how do you know the songs? So I think because I went to international and private schools back home, I got ad- adjusted real quick. You know, so stuff I saw here, I was like, oh, I saw it back home on TV and stuff like that. So I think I adjusted quickly. Yeah, I think that's the differences. But I'm so far so good. I'm, I'm getting used to it. Because my country we speak english it's a british colony country so sometimes i spell i i, I used to write british english and so sometimes you see one t two t here yeah, but every day i learn okay what are some things you guys like to do together on a chill day like our activities you like to take walks let me just tell you at first when <laughs> i met her me i live in the city so 42nd street is literally like down the block for me, you know, like Central Park is down the block. So I walk to these places. I walk to Point Second. I walk to Central Park. I walk to um, the pier, you know, near the water. I walk because I even I have had many days when I've walked to the village. The village, known also known as the Ville, is what's for where all the gay people hang out in New York City. So I have walked from where I live to West Fork easy. You know, on a nice summer day, you got your icy, you got your music. You... Before you know it, you there. You mm-hmm. you know, like 42nd, 34th, Union Square, Soho, boom, you, you in the Ville. So I've done that. She was not with it. She was like, nah, you want to walk where? Huh? How long? <laughs> what? We're going to stop? Are we going to sit down? What are we going to do? So now, the other day we walked where? Like one of the first times I could... Since the car, since I got hit by the car, I was able to, um, we walked to 23rd Street. We walked to 23rd Street. We went to 14th Street. Well, there's a restaurant we to eat at was on 23rd. So we walked, we walked to 14th and walked back to 23rd. And she had no problem with it. I mean, I think we were walking. I was like, let's walk. She ain't complaining once. Oh, mm-hmm. baby, you were going walk. She was like, yeah, let's go. So I think us being together, I don't know, like. I was just telling her the other day, like, she has completely come a long way. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, um, she's my baby. I like it. What else we like to do besides work? Um, we like to go to different boroughs, just eat there. We love local. eating out. Yeah, we love eating out. She made me, like, you know, at first I was like, nah. Yeah. I'm going to cook. Oh, my God. I remember one of the first times you told me to come get you from work. We were going to go out to eat. And I got dressed thinking, oh, my God, I, I wonder where she's going to take me. And then she's like, all right, let's go to Chipotle. <laughs> I have my little heels on. And I was, she was like, all right, so we want to go to Chipotle. And I was like, so a girl who likes to eat at a restaurant, I was like, first of all, Next time you want to just go get Chipotle, please say Chipotle. Don't ever say, let's go out to eat. When you say, let's go out to eat. This is when Chipotle became fancy. Because now everybody wants Chipotle because Fab put it in her song. We've, we've been eating Chipotle. Everybody's like, what? You eating Chipotle? Yeah. We've been eating Chipotle. Fab put it in her song. Yeah, now everybody. What, what, what song? It's some song. I'll, I'll find it for you. You can listen to it. Here's something, something. But Chipotle like, been, been hot. But I think he made it more hot. You know, people heard about it. People didn't know it was popping. Or Sin so, Santana from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, like. But Chipotle been the ish. And um, I love Chipotle. Staple, everything. Mm-hmm. Y'all like the Chipotle. Mm-hmm. We had it yesterday. With that margarita. Ooh-hoo! Patron. 
those Patron, that Patron Margarita. Mm, they shouldn't sell that in fast food restaurants. That was alright. <laughs> no. Yeah, they shouldn't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, but I they think, is the and all that sauce. That's good. Um. Yeah, so we like to go out to eat. We like to walk. We like to watch a lot of movies. I think mm-hmm. we watch we watch a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. We like to spend time together. And the last movie we saw was Tyler Perry's oh. Single Moms for all y'all gay couples that have kids. I think y'all should go oh see. Oh my it. god, this is so good for parents. Every Single parent, Moms is so good. For every parents. parent, uh, if you want to become a parent, I think you should see that. Movie. Oh my god, it's really, really, really. You think really you know good. your kids? Even if but... you're not a single mom, if you're not be a mom with a husband or a wife, definitely go see that movie. Like, it was so good. It was, we teared up. You think, yeah, you think you know your kids, but you don't know what they know. They don't know about or you. Or how they see you and stuff. It was so good. It was, it was, Tyler Perry did a good job. Good job. I didn't like some parts of it. In general, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was a good last thing in the movie. <laughs> Diamond. I keep yawning. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not really hungry. I like saying I'm hungry. But you get the food and you you pop the fork in it one two three and be like I'm done, babe. I'm done, babe. I don't want to eat no more. I don't want to eat no more. Are you making fun of me? Mhm. You say it all the time. I say what? I say I'm hungry. Then mm-hmm. we get food and then I don't eat it. True. That's a lie. True. They leave me eating though. They leave me eating. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to gain weight for the summer. She Everybody's trying to lose weight. Yesterday and try to eat more stuff. Yeah, that that's really holding for me. Everybody's trying to lose weight for the summer. I'm trying to gain weight. I'm trying to gain weight too. <sighs> Quasia, Quasia. Stop saying that. Quasia, Quasia. Don't don't no, no, don't say it. If you are from Ghana, West Africa, I want you to comment what Kwasia means. Or if you, even if you know the culture, whatever. Comment what Kwasia means. Right now. I'm not used to video. What is Kwasia? But I think we're done, because we got to go out. We out. I'm going to give me some new hair. I'm going to get a shape up. I'm going to give me some new hair. That's why you see me fixing it over and over. I'm going to get some new stuff. She tried it. I tried it. I tried it. And I start work tomorrow, so. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to get my zhush. Zhush, I got from Tamar. And um, zhush is like your makeup, your hair, your outfit, your nails. Is your zhush on point? Is your zhush on point? I don't know how to spell it, though. How would I spell zhush? I don't know. I don't know. Make sure your zhush is on point. Okay, I'm done. You done, babe? You done? I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Diamond is jealous. Our daughter does not like when we're affectionate. She hates it. Diamond hates it. She don't like it. Hey, show them, show them Diamond. Come here, Diamond. <laughs> That's Diamond. It's our baby. It's our baby. What are you doing? Oh, she don't want to look at it. Look at her turning herself around. Look, look. Look, look, look. Oh. She's turning herself around. Oh, my God. You don't want to look at it? She's going to lick me right now. Say bye-bye. bye bye. So you got your whole pink lipstick on me. Sorry, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, bye y'all. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. We'll put everything in the description. You're so cute. See y'all. Uh, we love y'all. Follow us. Follow back. Bye.